Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. I hope everyone is staying safe and doing well amidst the ongoing pandemic. Most importantly, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. First and foremost, I would like to introduce myself. I am Ahmad Zulay from Magic's marketing and community team and today I will be your host. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the soft launch of our new program, Startup Leap Internship. Today's event will be conducted virtually and we're delighted to have amazing individuals, our partner universities, as well as collaborating startups and social enterprises present. Thank you to all of you for taking your time to be here in appreciating our new initiative. The Startup Leap Internship, we aim to provide these students the opportunity to build their future in the startup system as an intern with founders and enhance themselves through magic ideation training. Ladies and gentlemen, to give more insight into the program and initiate the ceremony, I am honored to welcome Mr. Amridin Abdushiko, the acting CEO of Magic, to give his opening speech. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amiruddin Abdushuko, the acting CEO of the Malaysian Global Innovation and Creativity Center, also known as MAGIC. It is an honor to speak to all of you today at the launch of the Startup Leap Internship Program 2021. I would like to invite all of you to join us as we kickstart this new initiative with startups, social enterprises, and partnering universities across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2019, the Ministry of Higher Education found that 96% of students were exposed to entrepreneurship, but this only converted to creating 10.2% student entrepreneurs and 4.6% graduate into entrepreneurs among all higher education institutions in Malaysia. Additionally, in March 2020, unemployed graduates made up 29.3% of the Malaysian unemployment rate. This number is alarming as each year, higher education institutions in Malaysia produce around 290,000 graduates. At MAGIC, we recognize the need to convert university students into entrepreneurs and startup founders through effective intervention. During this pandemic, we understand that it, there is an additional challenge for university students to secure employment and venture opportunities to become entrepreneurs. It has always been a part of MAGIC's mission to support our startup ecosystem through capacity building programs, market and funding opportunities, and regulatory assistance for the local aspiring and seasoned entrepreneurs. We also understand that it has been difficult for startups and social enterprises to hire quality talent. Therefore, with Startup Leap Internship, we aim to bring together partnering universities participating startups and social enterprises to improve the current ecosystem offering. MAGIC's Startup Leap Internship Program is one of a kind. Through this program, we aim to nurture and develop the next generation of graduate startup founders through a curated and personalized syllabus. This program does not just stop at providing an internship opportunity for applicants, Leap Internship opens the door for many networking possibilities within the startup ecosystem. Through Leap, the interns will have an experiential understanding of startup creation from real-life hardworking founders. The program also aims to ignite the entrepreneurial vision within students as it places them on a path to prosperous futures for themselves. From working with startups and social enterprises, the interns will be able to understand the realities of what it takes to have a successful venture. Interns will then go through MAGIC's ideation bootcamp and online courses, which will enhance their skill as well as mindset to deliver a refined startup and social enterprise idea. The students can also benefit from participating in other MAGIC capacity building programs such as Grill or Chill, MAGIC bootcamps, and webinars to learn tips and tricks from industry players. This could ultimately prepare them to qualify for MAGIC's award-winning Global Accelerator Program. Make full use of this internship program as the building blocks to uplift and ignite the startup creator within you. Who knows, we could be looking at the next Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates of Malaysia. To university students, we look forward to your application for the program. Your post-graduation journey into the startup ecosystem begins here. 
Let's take this leap together. With your support and participation, I'm sure we can create the next generation of young startup founders. We would like to thank participating startups and social enterprises for seeing the value that Startup Leap Internship can bring to your venture. Finally, we would also like to thank our partnering universities for seeing the benefits the program has for students from your institution. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Amridin, for your opening speech and insight into Startup Leap Leadership. Now, let's have a look at the program roadmap for Startup Leap Leadership 2021. With today's event, registration is officially open. Head on to our website to submit your application for the internship. Do take note that registration will close on the 26th of July. Successful candidates will then begin their Startup Leap journey with the orientation event. This will be happening on the 6th to 8th of August. There, you will learn more about what is expected from you, a one-on-one -on -one class on working with startups and social enterprise, as well as an exciting two days idea jam to see how your ideas can be transformed into a fitting business model. Following this, on the 9th of August, you will begin your internship placement with the startup or social enterprise for 11 weeks. During this time, you will also have access to Magic Online Courses, Digital Business Academy, and Social Innovation 101. These online resources will help you in your internship duties and enhance your own startup skill. After completing your internship, you will then get the opportunity to refine your idea at our bootcamp where we will have a 3-day active training session on the 18th to 20th of October. Here, you'll be able to improve your idea in terms of funding, marketability, and product viability. This will help you come up with an idea pitch for the final challenge. Once you have completed your training, you will then have one day to finalize your idea and go for a primary round of pitching on the 22nd of October. From this, we will find the 6th best startup idea and the 6th best social enterprise idea. Finally, we will conclude the program with the graduation ceremony on the 23rd of October. Here, the shortest startups and social enterprise ideas will make their final pitch for opportunity to win cash prizes. We will also award all our interns for successfully completing the program. Without further ado, we will now move on to the final agenda of our launch, a panel discussion on how is it like to intern at a startup or social enterprise and to hear our panelists' journey from their first position to where they are now. Together with us, we have Cairo Mazwan, better known as Juan, the Senior Manager of Marketing and Community at Magic, as our moderator. With our panelists, Ms. Chu Yin Si, co-founder of Interspoon, and Ms. Nazira Zainuddin, Group Human Resources at BGBG Initiative. Kat Juan, the digital floor is yours. Okay, uh, thank you so much, uh, Akmal, uh, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, to the panel session uh, in conjunction with the Startup Leap Internship soft launch, right? Uh, I hope that everybody is uh, safe and comfortable at home. Uh, and, you know, uh, I have with me two special guests, which I'm very excited to, to, to welcome on board the session. We have Chu Yin Zi, uh, co-founder of Intern School, uh, one of our startups who are involved with this program and also with Nazira Hazdainuddin, uh, Group HR, BGBG Initiative. So welcome, ladies. Uh, it so happened that, you know, it's a power lady session uh, this afternoon, right? Yay. Okay. So let's get the show on the road. Uh, I'm sure our audiences are, are very excited to hear what, uh, you know, we'll be sharing today. Uh, and they've already heard about uh, the Startup Leap Internship uh, Program, which is an initiative uh, uh, piloted by MAGIC to enable uh, students from the universities, be it undergraduates, you know, uh, uh, postgraduates, to be able to experience uh, a startup environment through interning with a startup or social enterprise for three months, right? And uh, they'll be learning uh, uh, elements of, you know, uh, ideation, uh, pitching, 
uh, as well as taking up some online courses uh, during the internship to help develop their skills in uh, startups uh, and social enterprises. Okay, so let me get on with the first uh, question for today, which is basically to get to know our panel. Right. Uh, let me start with Yinzi. Okay, so Yinzi. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you with us and we would like to invite you to maybe share a little bit about yourself and about Intern Queen. Right? Uh, so, over to you, Yinsi. Alright, thank you so much, Kak Juan, and thank you, Magic, for inviting us, uh, me and Nazira, to be the panelists. Um, my name is Yinzi, and I'm the co-founder of Intern Spoon. So basically, what Intern Spoon does is uh, we are a social online internship platform where we match interns to employers, bring early access of young talents to company. So um, Currently, we have been working with more than 35 universities on board with us and we have helped almost uh, more than 100 companies to connect and create opportunity in talent management. So if you are one of them who is looking out for internship in the startup community or SME community or even social enterprise, uh, reach out to us to find out a little bit more. Thank you. Over to you. Back to Kat Juan. Thank you so much, Yinzi. Uh, that's a very interesting startup you have there and I'm sure you'll be getting a lot of inquiries after this. A lot of people are looking for jobs and internship positions here. Yeah? And okay, now let us uh, go to Nazira, right? Nazira, uh, would you like to share with us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about uh, BGBG initiatives? Go ahead, Nazira. Thank you so much, Kat Joanna Fan um, and Akamal to have Yinzi also as, a, as the panelist of this session. So I'm Nazira, the group HR of BGBG Initiative and Mareka. And yeah, um, about BGBG, we um, actually have been grown rapidly to 65 strong team members, including 20 fellow interns and trainees. So BGBG Initiative is an impact-driven um, social enterprise where we aim to inspire action through innovative problem solving. Um, we utilize creativity and technology as powerful tools of community-driven solutions. And on the other hand, Mareka, um, the education arm of BGBG. So the aim is to remove all the barriers to um, quality education. So we focus on democratizing access to tools, technology and skills for the members of um, young communities in order to equip them with the 21st century skills and to prepare them for the future of work through the various Mareka programs. So Mareka programs often teach the skills of the future, uh, prepare young communities with the digital skills, leadership, and the demands and opportunities. So, yeah, and we've been located at Mereka um, in Pabika and also Mereka Taylor's Mereka Makerspace. Yeah. So, back to you guys. Thank you, Nazira. It sounds like a very, very interesting place that you work in. Uh, uh, lots of, uh, you know, uh, training going on and I guess you focus on youth as well and a lot of uh, innovation that goes on with this, you know, uh, uh, equipments that, that you build over there at uh, um, Mereka Lab, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, continuing uh, on that, you know, uh, we, are, we are, you know, super excited uh, uh, to note that, you know, uh, both BGBG Initiative and also Intern School are on board with the Startup uh, Lead Internship Program, right? Uh, so I, I, I would like to maybe just uh, uh, ask you to maybe share your thoughts uh, and insight on, you know, uh, what what kind of uh, uh, experiences, you know, that uh, students or interns uh, can gain uh, from working at a, a startup or a social enterprise. So maybe we can start off with GTC first and then we can go to Nazira, uh, since so Zizi has uh, you know, a startup, uh, Intern School. Uh, uh, what are the experiences that you know, interns can gain, uh, Zizi, from interning okay. with, with your startup? Okay, thanks Kat John. This is a very interesting question. So, um, from us, uh, we are also very heavily working on uh, youth empowerment and internship empowerment. So, what we have experienced with um, students, right? Uh, your learning curve is definitely going to be very big. Um, 
you have to be a little bit more uh, flexible. So we have students that we have taken from different aspects and different course that amaze us in different ways. So um, just to share a little bit of story, uh, one of our intern who is studying uh, business management, um, but she has this creative side um, that you know, uh, she wasn't very confident or sure that, you know, whether I can do it as both. So um, one day I just came to her and just say like, hey, since you like to do all this designing work, um, why not you take up the role and manage social media as well? Mm-hmm. So she was like, oh, okay, um, that's interesting. Okay, let's just try. So she did some a few proposals after a few tweaking and everything. Then it's like, okay. I think it's good to go and she started, you know, build up her confidence there um, and also uh, build up her creativity skills. So can see her, her change in uh, cre- creativity in the social media side and also business management that she can actually combine them. So eventually after she finished her internship, she still had one more year to continue. We did keep her as our contract staff. Um, thereafter, she realized, you know, this is a or an area that she can progress and where she has seen is oh now I know that you know digital marketing is something that I can consider as a job so eventually she have joined a digital marketing firm um, which you know uh, gave her a new perspective gave her new uh, ways of careers in life so I think what we are also trying to do here as a startup not only um, give you the opportunity to learn we don't uh, we also coach you in this um, but at the same time, we expect you to be very in- independent and creative as well. So, yeah, so these are some of the stories that um, some of our interns have just, you know, wow us in so many ways. Um, if you are looking for young talents, um, do reach out to us to find out a little bit more how to um, engage them and how to hire and manage them. Back to you, Kak Jan. Story, uh, intern discovering, you know, her true potential and trying out something different, uh, which is, you know, uh, through that experience at Intern School. So, Nazira, how about uh, BGBG Initiative? You know, what kind of experience can students expect or interns expect when interning over at BGBG Initiative? Thank you. So, I think the question is a very an eye opener for me, and I really literally can relate to Yinsi when she actually spoken about one of the interns there. Um, so basically, because in BGBG Initiative America, we offer um, multi-ranges roles for three months to six months internship. For example, communications, marketing, um, design, management. So it's very much like um, suitable for an all-rounder. If you're not an all-rounder, it's okay. We can actually teach and train you from the start. So basically, this is the most ideal and valuable experience for me to spend during your um, summer or semester break. And our internship provides a holistic learning opportunity um, to individuals who are always motivated, passionate to contribute to the social impact sector. Um, and the talents that we want to develop is basically we wish to, to develop them to be more exceptional. And it's always about like um, working um, hands-on in the organization for the social change. Um, and we believe that we develop youth leaders that can strive for social change. So there are three areas that the students can look forward to for this program. The first one is hard skills, of course, um, ability to empower, um, collaborate and work in a team or community. So you will learn to work in a diverse team environment in a collaborative manner and you find out how to play your strength to complement to actually like um, fill in the gap of this team um, dynamic. And secondly is self-leadership. So. Um, yeah, self-development and self-growth is always important to lead your career and passion in life. So without this, um, it's kind of like empty to your career development. So yeah, um, with this like self-leadership um, value, you will learn to identify your own purpose. Um, you have clarity of your own strength and weaknesses and you take actions of your personal development. And the last one is team collaboration, um, camaraderie. So this is one of the key value that we that you can gain from this internship, basically. So again, the ability to um, collaborate, empower, and work in a team or community. So yeah, so these are the values that you can look forward to lah in the internship with BGPG Initiative and Marika. And to relate with Yinsi again, 
um, the interns can also be able to experience not just the soft skills but hard skills and digital skills um, to be able to amplify your voice also to the community and then also um, to relate to the social awareness or social issues that you can voice up and speak up. Yeah. So back to you yeah. guys again. Wow. That's amazing. It makes me almost want to apply to intern yeah, over at, you know, uh, BGBG Initiative and Intern School all over again, you know. Um, yeah, uh, uh, it will be an amazing experience uh, uh, because I think the students will be able to find out their true uh, self and, you know, uh, what's their real passion while, you know, interning. And I think Intern School and, and BGBG Initiative allows that self-discovery. Uh, yes. Which I think is very good because they, they get to do a, a range of, you know, activities so they can find which one is best for them, right? So, awesome. Okay, so let's um, go with the next question. Now that, you know, we have, you know, the students uh, watching uh, this session, uh, I'm sure they would want to know, okay, uh, how can I prepare uh, myself uh, to get an internship uh, opportunity uh, or a spot uh, to intern at a startup company or a social enterprise, right? So how do they prepare themselves? Uh, what do they need to do? Uh, and maybe we start with Yinzi and then we go to Nazira, right? We All right. Can thanks, thanks, Kat John. Okay, so um, to prepare yourself, uh, one thing you need to be very creative, flexible, creative in the sense not only on. Uh, on 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 art sense but more on strategy thinking so we have students who you know instead of sending in and resume the the normal boring resume we have students who send in hey uh, i don't need the resume this is what i have they send in a video of themselves um a slideshow of themselves as a resume uh yeah so we are looking for someone who's always thinking out of the box because in startup there is no one size fit all. There is no such thing as um, this is the only way to do it. You have to be a little bit more um, resilient and also a little bit more flexible uh, and also a little bit more um, uh, independent and also a lot of thinking process. So during that three months, um, your brain juice is going to use until max. So, but um, what you can see is also a very good interactions between you and your future employer or your supervisor because it's um, working in a startup. A lot of times, this CEO and and uh, C level people are on the grounds with you, working together with you to achieve the goals. Um, you be you have to be prepared. There's a lot of ad hoc stuff. There's a lot of research coming in. That is also things that sometimes you may need to um, work, work uh, it, a lot of changes. There's a lot of changes going around. So you have to work around it. Um, so yeah, it, and also to share your ideas. Um, don't be afraid to be proactive because this is what um, employers want. They, this is what the startup um, community and I believe Nazira can also relate to this. We, we like someone who can, you know, voice up because we want to hear your thoughts. The future, it's you guys. We are the past. So whatever we have learned may not applicable to you right now, but you are serving the market. So you should know what's going on and what should bring to the youth and what, what sh it should be done to bring to the market. So, um, be a little bit more uh, open to speak to us but don't but you will be also facing a lot of rejections um but so so keep a strong heart as well so these are a few things that you will need to you know prepare yourself back to you kat john thank you yinzi uh that's a very good advice uh that you know even i can relate uh you know working at magic uh, especially the the strong heart part lah kan? uh, because sometimes uh, things can change uh, uh, so much uh, but you know you just have to you know cope up with it and get on top of it and get the show on the road you know, kind of thing so yeah okay, can now. i just add on a little bit also 
Um, sure. So working in a startup is also a very fast pace. I think uh, same goes to Nazira as well. Uh, social enterprise is also very fast pace. So you have to keep you have to keep up with the stamina. <laughs> yeah, the the mental stamina again, uh, kind of uh, thing. So okay, uh, Nazira, over to you. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, and see, thank you for joining. Um, so yeah, that is very true, very relatable um, to me, and it also applies to the whole team in BGBG and America. So basically, you have to be prepared spiritually, physically to get your hands dirty, and you have to always see challenges as part of your development. So you will need to be ready to have fun with the challenges, um, change your mindset. Um, um, look at the challenges to be as fun as possible and you will also see the problems as um, opportunities so what you need to be prepared of is you will get to um, you will need to be challenged yourself to work um, on social and impact driven um, project and also um, your kind of like networking skills also need to be able to adapt to the whole environment because um, yeah, we're always looking forward for kind of like very expressive candidate or um, very voice out candidates, basically, because when you have this value, you will be able to meet different people from multiple professional big backgrounds to brainstorm and also to exchange ideas. Um, but yeah, don't worry about like not having any um, experience because you will learn and you will be trained by this like um, experienced um, supervisors from start to end of a social impact projects and yeah and on the other side I guess um, CV and also resume are the main pillar of this love for you to get an internship with SE um, just like Yin Si said um, don't make it boring um, make it put put much more efforts towards um, how you can contribute to the organization how you are always passionate about social impact um yeah overall it's um yeah resume is the is the it's kind of like the pillar lah, um for you to actually like um appeal to the organization and yeah soft skills is also important um because you have to be this like um critical and creative thinker you need to always have the can do attitude and also a self starter hustler um, because we always seek for independent team player and also leadership. Um, it's best for you to have an experience beforehand in the any relevant independent projects or exemplary co co-curricular involvements. Um, so yeah, I guess um, those would be the best um, values to contribute um, to apply for the social entrepreneurship. Uh, wow, that is uh, a very good you know a piece of advice also from Nazira. Uh, where I can probably uh, capture a few and you know share with the audience. Uh, first thing first, your resume, uh, students, uh, make it original uh, uh, and creative, uh, not the normal boring resume. Yeah? Uh, so this is tip number one, and probably tip number two uh, is to show your strength. Yes, because I think uh, they will want to know. Uh, what, what is your strength, whether you've run any projects before, whether you have leadership skills and uh, whether you have the uh, uh, mental uh, agility as well to cope with the fast-paced uh, uh, environment, right? And the creativity uh, and problem-solving skills uh, because this will also come in very, very handy. Uh, when interning with startups and social enterprise, okay? So now let's move to the next question, which I think is one of my personal favorite, lah, you know, uh, out of all the questions that I'm going to ask the panel today. Um, I've always been curious, you know, uh, you know Yinzi and Nazira, um, you have undergone like, you know, your own journey, right? From your first position up to today, uh, again, your, your self-discovery, your journey, so, were there uh, any, uh, you know, uh, key turning points uh, in your journey, you know, from your first post up to today uh, that made you do what you do today? For example, Yinzi, you started, you started an a, a intern school, right? Which is yes. a startup company. So, how did that come about, you know, in your journey from your first post to uh, right now, any turning point and what made you 
create infant screen. Ah, so over to you, Yinzi. Okay, thanks, Kak Jan. Okay, so um, some of you might know my story. So I am a uh, accounting accountant by by profession. So um, yeah, I did the normal route of audit and and consultancy. So my before I start off as an um, entrepreneur, before I start off my entrepreneurship journey, um, I was doing uh, consultancy in merger and acquisition and forensic auditing. So, um, but I have to give thanks to my previous company is because of um, the opportunity given by my supervisors and also uh, my directors and senior partners who's all often um, encouraging to for us to actually go all out and speak to our customers and clients, uh, first point of engagement. So there I actually gained confidence to speak to business partners. So that is where, and um, during the conversation, we always realized that, you know, um, what is important in the company is not only money and revenue. Most important is talent. Um, without the talent, your company, how much money you have, um, it's very difficult to sustain. Uh, so what we have seen in the market right now is the mid-tier companies, SME and startups are often very hard to get talents to co join the company, mainly because um, we, we are not in the university uh, enough. Um, the presence in the university are not enough uh, and students wouldn't know much about us. So that is where it triggered and, uh, to us that, you know, hey, let's... Um, in terms of hiring, people are all doing fresh grads and stuff. Then why not we go down to the ground, to the zero ground zero, um, which is internship, just to understand the youth a little bit more, um, using internship periods as as a period to um, try out with this uh, bunch of youth and millennials uh, coming up for as our future workforce, right? So that is where we realize hey, that these people um, need help. And um, in an in, in the university level, they uh, they are required to get do their internship before they graduate. So so yeah, one one thing that we have seen students have struggled in looking for internship. On the other hand, employers are always asking for interns, but they are not getting any. <laughs> so we see the gap there, um, and we thought you know let's just do this. Um, so we work. I work with my business partner Stephen, uh, who is the um, main, also the main solution uh, and investor. Um, he was our advisor and he was the one who said like, you know, let's just do this. So yeah, I'm very thankful for my business partner to actually enable me to work on this project. Um, definitely, it was a very challenging journey. Um, it's not easy giving up your comfortable, you know, job, getting out of your comfort zone uh, with a stable pay. Uh, doing this uh, but it is an interesting journey that I will never forget and never regret yeah thanks back to you Kat Joan. wow that's that's very you know uh, eye-opening for me lah yeah uh, you know from accountant auditor uh, to a startup that you know contributes value uh, and building talent right uh, for the youth especially those at university so this is very very amazing yeah yeah uh, well done, yeah, uh, Yinsi. And um, I'm, I'm curious now to open to Nazira. Uh, how about yourself? Uh, from your first position up to now, uh, what would be the turning point, if, if I may put it that way, that makes you choose to work in a social enterprise like BGBG initiatives? Okay. Over to you, Nazira. Thank you. So I kick started. Um, I mean, I've always been in HR industry and it's, I started my HR career in BGBG America. It's almost about um, four years now. And working with a social enterprise that BGBG and Marika also has also like kept me on a track um, to actually train myself with the full spectrum experience. And I realized my strength um, in the subject of HR has been um, learning and development recruitment, retention, employee relations. So these are actually leading me to embark a career in HR. So I would say the journey in BGBG America has been a very purposeful ride because like um, because of the purpose, um, this like 
because like the purpose like um is why organization exists and it can have a powerful connection with employees and also overall positive impacts um and i would say like for me what is the turning points is actually is always is absolutely a growing opportunity so every year you kind of like evolve and you see new perspective um because the more you work the more you actually share your fresh perspective the more you grow and also because of this organization they develop a very fast paced way and i guess like intern spoon also is a very fast paced environment right and yeah and the leaders at the organization such as Rashvin Zoe Juliana Ambika Gripit and other seniors have kind of like inspired me inspired the team to follow my passion um play my strength in hr um also sharpen up my leadership and also digital skills of course um and also i have um this absence of fear for new challenges and trying out trying out new things and explore more hr spectrum extensively to evolve in the people leadership and what i genuinely believe is um surrounding myself with a positive and supportive network um when you have this kind of like network this type of network um you can gain a valuable career advice as well as you have ongoing shared learning experience so day to day you kind of like evolve you kind of like have this like new perspective of life or like how um you kind of like aware or like um how to say like you kind of like very relate relatable to the social awareness social um rights and also social issues lah so yeah i would say those are um what i say what what i would say a turning points of my journey yeah thank you nazira i you know it it's very inspiring uh listening to you as well because i think what what you do at uh, bgbg uh has this you know a direct impact to the community and the society uh i mean it's good working in a company but you know working in a social enterprise uh and enables you uh to be able to do that right and creating something new uh is 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 the norm right in social enterprises also in in startups like in intern school uh creating something new moving fast and and this is something that uh keeps uh you motivated and uh, you know still uh strongly uh engaged uh in the startup and social enterprises Okay, cool. Okay, now uh, let's move on. Uh, due to time, I think we have to go to the second last question, uh, which is a little bit on the startup leap internship, right? Uh, this is a new program by Magic. We are piloting this uh, for the first time, and we would like to hear from you. Uh, you know, maybe starting with Yin Si and then with Nazira. Um, what do you think of the uh, program? Uh, is it helping? you know a uh, startup and social enterprises uh, and students uh, especially during this uh, tough uh, pandemic time what okay. do you think Yunzi? okay so um yes definitely it will help uh because interns uh can they can if if given the right you know um guidance and also uh, having the right talents they can empower and also work on certain things they even can take on a role like a full time we given to the right you know candidates and right directions um so definitely this program will be able to help um not only the startup and social enterprise we will also help the students to give them a better perspective of what they should expect um and what they can expect working in a startup and social enterprise industry um this period is definitely challenging um you uh experience it working it virtually but at the same time um if you have the chance to work in uh physically uh you will be able to experience how these people do crisis management and everything so it will be a very interesting journey um if you're interested to to you know uh find out more do come and join the program and for companies who are in the startups and at social enterprise industry do uh take up all these students um do ch- to allow give them placement and chance to grow. Yeah, back to you Kak Jan. Okay, thank you so much Inzi. And uh how about Nazira? Uh what how do you see this program? Is it beneficial uh for uh social enterprises and you know the, the students? Yeah, definitely Kak Jan, of course. Um 
and I guess from the from the presentation that Akmal has presented is basically very promising and also very beneficial lah. and it is definitely a resourceful initiative by Magic because it can like kind of like unlock a passionate and virtual talent pool so because there are like unnoticed talent and then like uh, Magic kind of like do this initiative to unlock those talent pool and yeah I, I guess the, the the program is would be able to match SE or startup with the right um, and motivated candidate I believe that organization goal plays a part um, to attract the cultural fit candidate um, but also skillful and experienced um, yeah and also with the lead values such as leadership entrepreneurship problem solving absolutely instill the candidates with the right mindset to be prepared for the future of work um, and yeah with the pandemic with the COVID-19 um, was being impact driven our organization has been working remotely all around the globe to kind of like uh, stem to curb the spread of um, COVID-19 and this can also provide the acclimation of working from home um, and I guess Magic Leap Internship will be able to um, find us the right candidates and yeah and I guess like to join the team and also like create more network with the, with the people yeah so I guess Thank you so much, um, Magic. Thank you so much, everyone, for the program. Thank you so much, uh, Nazira and Yinzi. Uh, it's very, uh, you know, uh, motivating and uh, inspiring lah to, to hear your feedback. Because I think sometimes when we create new programs, we would like to uh, know that it is uh, creating an impact over to our startups, especially, you know, social enterprises who are uh, part of Magic alumni. Right, and, and we hope that this is a give back opportunity as well uh, to help you gain talent, to help you get you know uh, future uh, 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 higher. At the same time, hopefully creating future uh, founders as well. Right, uh, inshallah. Okay, so now we are uh, at the tail end of our session. Uh, I've been given the cue uh, to wrap up, uh, and I think to just you know round off this uh, session and 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 discussion uh, perhaps I'd like to get maybe one word of advice or maybe tip uh, from Yinzi and Nazira uh, you know um, to sort of inspire the students lah, yeah? uh, if they're thinking of applying uh, you know what is that one uh, tip or one advice that you can give so let's start with Yinzi or maybe you can go with Nazira first because I mean you know we have to take turns maybe Nazira can go first Okay, yes. Nazira, uh, let's give you the baton and that one tip or advice uh, to uh, potential applicants of the program. I see. Um, I guess the word piece of advice to relate to your, I, I would say the internship is actually like uh, one of the pillar to your personal development. And I guess like to actually um, embarking on that, um, be shameless, always push your boundaries and never be scared of like trying out new things and initiative so because those would actually make you more progressive make you more ready for the future um yeah so i guess that's my piece of advice uh, okay so be so, bold, go for it kind of thing right yeah okay, okay so for myself it will be um the effort going above and beyond uh, achieving the goals that uh, an objective that the company are uh, that enables you to do so. Um, thinking of the box, uh, independent and creative, um, that is something that we are looking for and a strong heart because you have to be ready to accept um you have to be very ready to accept a lot of rejections, but at the same time, these will actually be your like what Nadira said, your point of growing. So um, work together with your team is all about teamwork. It's no longer about yourself. Um, so yeah, that that's the few things that you can expect in an internship. Um, it's it's not a honeymoon. I just want to tell you, it's not a honeymoon period. Please don't take it as a honeymoon period. Um, it's your period to actually try out whether this is for you or not. Is this your future? Yeah. So back to you, Joanne. Thank you so much, Yinzi and Nazira. Uh, I really, you know, time flies so fast. I didn't realize that we are at the end of the session. It's been really fun uh, talking to you amazing ladies. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of uh, 
sharing. There's a lot of uh, uh, takeaways uh, from this session, and and I think just maybe to summarize it all, um, just to say that you know um, to all the students out there and the supporting universities uh, with uh, us in this program, uh, do uh, give it a shot. You know, get your students to apply. Uh, it will be a very interesting experience. You will regret not trying this. Uh, you know, be bold, uh, go for it. Uh, you learn how to think independently. You learn how to work in a team. You learn how to pivot. You will grow a stronger heart uh, through this, you know, uh, startup internship experience. And the learning curve will be amazing, right? So. Uh, don't miss out uh, and check out our Startup Leap Internship uh, application which should be open uh, today and more details uh, will be given to you uh, in the website and uh, I wish you all a very pleasant uh, afternoon ahead. Take care of yourself, be safe, you know, wear your double mask when you're outside and to those working from home, please take, you know, 30 minutes uh, 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 you know, uh, break period, right? Because you cannot continue working for you know one hour straight, right? So take five minutes break uh, in between, uh, stretch a little bit, uh, stay mentally healthy, and uh, I see you all at the next uh, session, right? So thank you again, Nazira and Yinzi. Thank and you. To all the panel, yeah, audiences out there, uh, lecturers, um, you know, students, uh, startups, and social enterprises. Uh, we look forward to working with you in this program and in the future magic program. So take care. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a really great pleasure. We see you. We see you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Inzi, for that uh, tip and advice. Uh, and also to Nazira uh, for sharing the same. Yeah. And uh, I hope that, you know, uh, our audience, especially the students who are watching, uh, is, you know, can take benefit and take note of all that uh, uh, advice. Yeah. And I think to, to close the whole session, uh, I would like to take this opportunity, you know, on behalf of Magic, to thank our panelists, uh, Yinzi as well as Nazira, for spending their time with us. Thank you so much. Yeah, and to all the audience who are watching, uh, you know, the lecturers, the professors, uh, researchers, uh, and all the students as well as startup and social enterprises. Thank you so much to you two uh, for being with us uh, in this session. Uh, we look forward to uh, the applications that uh, will be coming in to the Startup Leap Internship Program and uh, wishing you all a very pleasant and productive afternoon ahead. Stay safe, take care. All right. Thank you so much. And over to you, Akmal, for the next session. Thank you, Kak Juan, and our fellow panelists for the very insightful session. Before we end today's soft launch, I would like to highlight that applications are open and that you can head to our website at mymagic.my slp to submit your CV or resume and entrepreneurial idea. If you need further information on the program, we have a WhatsApp channel that you can subscribe to at bit.ly sli help where you can ask further questions and be notified on the program. Once again, thank you all for attending this program. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to contact us through the WhatsApp channel. I am Ahmad Zulev, wishing the best of luck to all these students in their application for Startup League Internship. Take care, stay safe, and until next time, goodbye.